Aloha, this is uh, Harry from Kailua um, in Hawaii, and um, I'm going to share some musical ideas in, in an art form. Um, art forms like cooking, painting, uh, surfing, can't learn from just watching a video, but this is a video, so I'm going to try my best, or reading the book. So let's say this is a surfing lesson. Um, I wouldn't tell you, read this book, watch this video. We would go out there and learn by doing it. And that's how most art forms are. So my goal is to kind of make you look at music in a different way. My dad was an artist and sculptor. So um, when I was young, my favorite thing to do was to mix colors and paint or crayons. And I would burn crayons over a candle and watch things melt together. And that's how I learned how you know, blue and yellow made green and red and blue made purple and things like that. And then, you know, I guess same with cooking, you blend flavors. Like in Hawaii, you got pineapple juice and coconut juice and you get a pina colada. <laughs> so I look at music in a similar way. Um, so once I discovered the guitar between eighth and ninth grade, my instead of painting and carving like my dad did, I started going into music. So this is the way I kind of look at music as an art form. Um, think of chords um, as a canvas. So let's say this is a painting class, you would have a canvas, um, could be paper, brick wall, cloth, whatever you want to paint on, and then you got different crayons and colored pencils and inks and whatnot to paint on the canvas. So if this is a cooking class, it would be kind of the same. The canvas would be water, chicken broth, rice, pasta, and you got different herbs and spices, flavors, syrups to paint on that. So for me, chords is kind of like our musical canvas. We have major chords, which sound happy. Minor chords sound sad or mysterious. We have diminished chords that sound like something's gonna happen, you're anticipating something. Uh, we have augmented chords, which sound like you're floating in space, you're Sleepy, uh, Enchantment, Bambi's in a Fairy Forest, uh, Harry Potter put you under a spell. And then you have different kinds of chords that have numbers in them, like here's a D7. A D7 to me sounds kind of bluesy. Then you got another 7 called D plus 7, or D major 7 sounds more mellow. There's all these different numbers like D6, D9, D13, D suspended 11, D2. They're all different canvases. And on top of this canvas um, of chords, um, our colors or flavors would be like scales, like you've probably heard do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Major scale sounds happy to me. And then you have minor scales that sound sad or mysterious. Um, so a quick example. If I took um, things that you've heard when you're little, like in nursery rhymes, you heard things like twinkle, twinkle, little star. Sounds happy, Christmas music joyful, happy. Um, Hawaiian music sounds happy. Uh, even old cartoons like Flintstones, meet the Flintstones. Okay, now if I took those examples and I changed the flavor or color, I'm going to use the minor scale on purpose because it sounds sad or mysterious. Here's the same songs. Here's Twinkle Twinkle. Now it's a sad star. Here's a non-joyful Christmas. Here's Flintstones, let's say, at Halloween. So these are the kind of things I, I think of music, like when you watch a, sound, uh, watch a movie and you listen to the soundtrack of a movie or a cartoon. Musicians and such, we paint pictures using sound. Those aren't the only colors. We have other scales, like the blue scale. Some scales sound like country music. We have scales that sound like Spanish music. Some scales sound kind of Indian, Arabian. Some scales sound Oriental. Some scales sound uh, European. Um, some scales sound Mid-Eastern. Mid-Eastern would be like uh, Jewish, Moroccan, Egyptian. Some scales sound Japanese, like Japanese flute music. There's all kinds of scales that I don't even know yet. Um, music is an art form. There's no end in art. 
It's infinite, and that's why we do it. If, if art had an end, it'd be pretty boring. So whatever I share with you isn't the only way. There's, there's no rules. We have to learn what rules to organize our thoughts, but in the long run, there's no such thing as mastering anything. I, I still study, and I think it's a good thing to keep studying because it's Alzheimer's preventive medicine. And uh, so I'm going to keep uh, sharing more things and ideas with you. So uh, spread the news and keep checking back. Aloha.